It's our third day going down the river to New Orleans, and this is, you know, um, Dr. Burke Buckner's. You have a lot, a lot of uh, individual names. There is Faulkner. Uh, I studied Faulkner and uh, think an awful lot of his writing. Uh, here is Vicksburg, major city, uh, and uh, you know, of course, there's a bridge across there now. The railroad's coming from both sides. And there's a, it seems like to me there's a major uh, park for a Confederate. Uh, there was a huge battle there. And uh, there is a place where the uh, people killed in the battle, both sides were interred and large monuments. Um, and here is uh, Palmyra. Uh, there's the picture of Vicksburg. You see, it's a pretty substantial thing. Very sharp bluffs in some cases. Um, here is Grand Gulf and the railroad coming to it. Uh, Natchez. This is a lovely town. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of railroads and, and things like that, but it, it's actually one of the earlier uh, towns on the river on a very large bluff and I had a client there uh, who owned one of the oldest mansions and we or they were restoring it and they had a tower in the very top of it and you could this is the ones that the people could look out on uh, the river uh, quite a few miles both ways and uh, the ship owners and so and uh, it was really nice uh, this is uh, Dead Man's Bay. Uh, there are lots of things like that that <laughs> don't sound very happy. There's Fort Adams, which was there uh, well before the Civil War. Uh, and there's Tunica. Uh, there's some tremendous bends in the river here and cutoffs that were part of the river. And we get down to Port Hudson was, a, I think, a minor battle there. Then Baton Rouge, uh, which is the capital of Louisiana. Uh, Man Shack, and it goes over to New Orleans. Um, the Donaldsonville, uh, and that's uh, the end of that section.